Hey everybody, welcome back. You know, hey, it, uh, it's good to be here. It's good to uh, be moving along and walking in Jesus' uh, presence. And, you know, every once in a while I get a chance to get back and look at comments and reviews on things and read some of the emails and, you know, um, and, and then once in a while you get these ones that just I call the woodpecker you, you guys have been with me for a while you've been watching these videos it's just it's non-stop and my thing is, is I'm not coming against anybody you know I'm not judging anybody you know you you have your opinions of what you hear and, and what you choose to hear and I'm okay with that you know um, I, I'm okay with you leaving your comments and doing what you're doing um, but for you, some of the stuff, I, I, I kind of feel that you're crossing a line that you have no idea what you're crossing. You know, uh, I, I, don't, I don't get offended by it because I know it's not true. Uh, but, I, you know, it's over and over and over. And after a while, uh, anybody that knows me that's been watching these videos long enough, you know I'm not going to go in the fact of... Uh, putting a long reply on there and if something gets mixed up or twisted up I want the truth to be heard and, and I want it to be exactly how I want it to be said that way you can personally see me it's not just words and there's no there's no getting around it saying well you meant this way the word said this way or you you take something out of the equation which has happened plenty of times not saying by this person you know when you bring up theologically, you know, and you're bringing this up, you know, it's the study of God and, you know, you're bringing my opinion into it. Well, the study of God is reading the book, the Holy Bible. And, and, and just so you know, um, you know, here you go. So if I'm reading God's word, I'm studying God. I'm learning Jesus. I sit with Jesus. You know, as far as my opinion goes, uh, I need to get in the Word and learn the Word. Just because I don't say the Bible verses, because the Lord told me, keep it the way you are. Keep doing what you do. It's up to an individual. It's not up to a pastor. It's not up to anybody else. We are to deliver the messages. A pastor is supposed to deliver the Word. You're supposed to be in the Word. You're supposed to be in the living Word yourself. You're supposed to be opening the Bible and going into it. I don't need to go to prayer. I'm in prayer with Jesus all the time. I know what He gives me. I have tablets and tablets and tablets. I've written things down that has come true. I've spoken things to people before it's even happened. Because He's my teacher. I get it from the book. And I get it from Him. I bring my opinions as you say from my personal life and it helps people it helps people re relate with today's time it saves people from th thinking and letting the devil go you are nothing you're never going to be forgiven see there's the difference i don't need man's opinion i've lived man's opinion and there's no good in it i'm not detoured or need a pat on the back from man. Never have, never will. Ever. And no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just saying. I mean, you're ongoing with stuff. You know, this opinion of this and the opinion of Mary. Mary's out trying to do, what, you know, she went out trying to do what we do every day. Try to teach about Jesus. Well, really, it's not really mentioned a whole lot what Mary did in the Bible. So if there's any other added things that it's not in the Bible, God didn't want it there. What does God say in the very end? Do not add or do not take away. Or all the plagues of this book shall be added to you. That's in Revelation. If you'd like, I'll go get the very verses, if that would make you more happier. And no, I'm not being sarcastic. No, I'm not being rude. I'm not being anything. I'm just saying idea when I started this was to get you to start people start opening the book and reading if you want a Bible study and you want to go to verse to verse to verse then you need to go find a Bible study 
I don't tell people to tune into these videos. Obviously, something in these videos, it's helping people and it's helping people relate with daily life. That's where we're missing. I don't need a I don't need to go to a church and listen to a pastor give me a song and dance about why I should tithe. Because that's basically all I hear at churches. And Jesus tells me to go into a certain building and tell people stuff, I do exactly that. And I have done that to pastors. I'm not taking glory or credit for anything. I give glory to my Lord Jesus Christ because he's the one who leads me. I am an obedient servant to him. So my opinion means nothing. My opinion is nothing without the word of Jesus to back it up. Everything I speak, you can find it in this word. Show me anything I have spoken that Jesus has given me does not match his word. I don't need the opinions of man about upcoming events. Matter of fact, I'm the opposite. Instead of bashing biting in his family and making fun of it, I tell people to pray for him. So where am I getting led by man? I, I would really love to hear that explanation because I am far from it. And no, I'm not a prideful person. I just know the things that I have seen, the places I have walked. Until you walk a mile in my shoes and you have seen the things I have seen and you have been through what I have seen. You know, have you ever seriously been through hell? Have you ever seriously been into heaven? Have you ever been drug out of your bed at one o'clock in the morning and see nobody there but being thrown up against a wall? If you have, then we'll finish talking about that. Have you told people things that they've been coming against you and sending you videos? I have another person that would send me snap pictures of videos of my, of my face and stuff with all this stuff. I'm not a fool. I know demonic activity and I know trickery of changing things through cropping and all that stuff. Awesome, isn't it? person no longer talks to me, which I'm okay with because I didn't fall into the traps and the tricks and the schemes. So, we're... And I'm just reading some of the things that you wrote so I can make sure that I cover some of this because, I mean, honestly, it's it's on so many videos. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. You know, you start off good and then you bash. And it's like, and it is a bashing because it's, what you're doing is false, not me. Uh, what'd you put on this one? False teaching of some of my opinions. False te teaching of some of my opinions. I should pray and ask Jesus. What do, you, what do you want me to pray and ask Jesus? Jesus, is what you're giving me true? Jesus, am, 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 am I speaking something about my life, of my opinions that's not true? Because it's not man. I don't follow man. I don't read the news. I don't keep up with the current event. I couldn't tell you what tomorrow's weather is going to be. And that is the truth. And if this doesn't solve anything for you, may the Lord Jesus Christ's blood, may the Lord Jesus Christ himself remove my tongue and stop my tongue from saying another word from this moment forward. If everything I am not speaking is 100% truthful and from him, of him, about him, and through him. And let this be done in Jesus' name. Amen. So that being said, my tongue isn't still. Now is it? Because the very things I speak are the very things from my opinion. And my opinion is my life. I've lived it. I don't need nobody's opinion about what my life is. 
I come on here and I talk about the things that I went through, the things that I have done in life, the, the nasty things I have done in life, the things that, that I'm not proud of. But if it's going to help somebody get away from Satan's binds and chains and be deceiving, you dang right I'm going to talk about it. You darn right I'm going to put it with scripture and listen to my Lord speak. Maybe you should go to prayer and ask Jesus before you come on here and post ridiculous stuff that is not true. Not true at all. So far, my false opinions. Give me some. Give me some. Because you, I can take you and show you the houses. The house I grew up in Copley, it's still there. The boarded up house of the satanic realm that I was in from, from the young age, still there. It's boarded up. I hope the thing literally burns to the ground. The cemetery, you want me to take you and show you where some of the bags that got buried? That I'm sure that probably whatever was in the bags, the bones are probably still there. Let me take you down to my dad's house where he used to stand. Do you want me to take you to the bridge that I slept under? Those are my opinions, right? Those are the false opinions. The false opinions, what I'm speaking, what Jesus is giving me. If, if it's false, then why is it coming true? You think, just like Jesus said, when they called him a devil, and he says, what devil shall cast out another devil? Go in John, you can read it. Go in Matthew, you, you can read it. Just because I don't give you scripture doesn't mean I don't know the scripture. It's not up to me to get you into the scripture, to read, to have a daily life in a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's not up to me to get you to pray. It's up to me to be a faithful servant to Jesus and come on here and give the truth that nobody else wants to give. Nobody else wants to talk about hell. Nobody else wants to walk into the darkness. Nobody else wants to see it. Because we're too busy getting easy hearing in our ears we want the calm the peacefulness we're all going to heaven we're going to go to heaven well according to revelation we are called upwards before the, the lucifer takes final realm and that's not man's teaching that's god's teaching we'll be called up into the clouds If you go on and read, it then goes into the whole layout of the final. See, you got to have all this stuff happen before the calling upwards. That means the Antichrist is taking place. That means at the very end, all this will be wiped out to anybody left here that has not received eternal life with Jesus will be wiped into hell. That's it. It's as simple as that. Stop making it so complicated. You may not believe in pre. You may not believe in mid or post. I don't care. I'm not here to debate what you want to believe. That is an opinion. It's your opinion. You're right. You have the rights to it. Doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it wrong. Trying to prove me wrong so you can be right doesn't make you right. I'm reading the word. I'm reading Revelation. To John. Was it such awe? What did Jesus say to John in Revelation? I'm glad you asked because I'm going to tell you. He says, write of these things. So he must have been in such shock, such awe what he was seeing. He couldn't even write. Jesus had to keep reminding him to write what he was speaking. What did he say to Peter and them when they were laying under the tree, falling asleep? You could not even stay awake an hour and pray with me. But Jesus went and prayed. I suppose you're going to say my opinion of how the three days that Jesus spent after the cross is my opinion too. But show me in the Bible where I'm wrong. I know what I've seen, and I know what Jesus took me from. Just because you haven't seen it, it's at, so it's my opinion. 
I've never seen you. Are you real? You could be an AI robot for all I know. Some AI robots now have feelings. So does that make them a person? You tell me. It has feelings. It's able to feel pain, sadness. Some people may say no, and all of a sudden it's a robot. There's no, there's no human reaction. That's your opinion. You're entitled to it. You're entitled to whatever you think, whatever you believe. But before you start rolling dice, make sure you know who I am. Make sure you know where I've been. And please don't falsely accuse me of things that I'm following man's ways. I followed man's ways and I followed it very good. I followed the master of deceiver to a T. I hated God. You understand what I'm saying? You can't hate something that doesn't exist. Because I looked at the word. See, Lucifer's clever. But when you walk in that realm long enough and you walk on that pathway long enough, I don't need man. And I don't need man's five cents worth of views of how it should be. There's too many pastors out there doing that. There's too many evangelists that are out there taking the money from people's hands for what? Because of their opinions. See, the difference is I'm not on here asking for anything. I'm not on here selling you a book. I'm not on here making a movie. I'm not on here trying to get rich. I'm on here trying to save souls. And that is my opinion. I'm trying to deliver people straight out of the pits of hell to repent. If my opinions were so great, then why is my prayers, as you say, I've listened to your prayer three times. Are you trying to find fault in that too? In a slight way, it's, it, it, it is very disrespectful and it's very hurtful. But it's okay. When I pray tonight, I'm going to pray and ask Jesus for forgiveness for myself. So I don't keep having the thoughts. Because the devil loves to bring people into your life to push buttons. And I'm sorry, today it's not going to work. I have no place for Lucifer. I have no place for the fallen angels. And I sure don't have no place for hell. Because if you really think I'm going to come on here and speak a bunch of nonsense and to come on here and continue to do videos trying to lead people out of Satan's realm for, for what? What am I gaining from it? False teachings, what do they get? It'd be better not to even say a word. For hell awaits and I am not going there. I've been there. You could take... Your Friday the 13th, you could take your Halloweens, you can take your Nightmare on Elm Streets, you can take Pinhead, Leatherface, you can go right down the list of every scary movie you've ever seen and you can twist them all up. And I tell you right now, when they entered in the pits of hell, they'd be running out like little school kids, screaming at the top of their, their lungs. And that is truthful. It's not so scary now, is it? To watch scary movies paranormal activities and all these things that devil puts attachments on music that he puts attachments on again my opinion no it's not it's not my opinion i've heard it when i hear a rock and roll song and someone tells me their lyrics i mean i've actually had a few people tell me before nelson you do realize that's not the word the you know the lyrics matter of fact my wife said it not too long ago you mess up some of the lyrics and some of the songs no i don't that's how i hear it Crucial to the devil. But shake the bomb, but fush the bomb. La put the devil, devil, my fair kuma. That's my opinion, too. And 
And the reality is be strong now, children of the beast, be strong and shout at the devil. Praise the devil, shout to the devil. Society doesn't matter. Your laws don't matter. For the true king and the true beast, be strong now and rise up and shout to the devil. And the blood stains on my face. My hands are stained from the blood. Now, you can go listen to Shout at the Devil and let me know what you hear. You have no idea. None. And I believe you when you say you're not coming against it and you're not, uh, you know, you're not trying to cause any problems or anything like that. To a slight little point, the things you write. Mary, I understand if I'm corrected right, you're a Catholic, I believe. Um, they do. I know plenty of Catholics. There was a time where I studied different religions, and there was times that I walked in different churches. There was times I even walked into a Jewish synagogue. I used to go to a Jewish cemetery. I was curious. I was curious about the Mormon religion. I was curious about Jehovah Witnesses. I was curious about the, the you know, the Methodists. Catholics. Literally. Literally. I've watched them with Rosemary and go out there and stand in front of a statue. So don't tell me what I know and don't know. I know what I've seen. And these people didn't even know each other, but yet I've seen it from different people that were Catholics and truly did this. No statue can save me and Mary cannot save me. Mary can lead me Back then she could have. But I don't see a whole lot of speaking about Mary going out and doing discipleship. I, I don't see it so much in the Bible. If, if it's in there, please please send me the verses because I'd like to go see it. I didn't see in there where Mary was turning water into wine. I didn't see in there where Mary was walking across water. I didn't see in there where Mary was out healing. I didn't see any of that. Yes, she has Jesus turn water into wine. I don't even really know if that's truly in there. To be honest, I don't know. I'd have to go read it. I never really paid that much attention to it. I know in the movies, in the Gospel of John, it, you know, it speaks, and when they do the movies and stuff, it shows that she walked over there because Jesus looked over there and said, Woman, what concern is this of yours? It's not yet my time. I don't know if that's truly in the Bible or not, to be honest, or if it's just something they put on there to make it. And then when she said to the servant, do whatever he says. I don't know. But I know in the Gospel of John, the, the movie, that's exactly how it's, it's done. So I guess if I went and read through John until I got to that part to see, I would find out. But you know what? I really don't have the energy because everything else I'm doing, I'm not trying to prove Mary. I'm not trying to prove Jesus. Jesus can prove himself. Jesus can appear to Muslims. Jesus has appeared to people in China. Jesus has appeared all over the place. You wasn't there when Jesus grabbed a hold of me and brought me out of hell. You wasn't there when Jesus pushed me back into that body and laid over top of me and gave me breath. He wasn't there when I had to get the rope cut off of my neck. Because people don't believe. People don't believe that I touch things in heaven. Some people want to believe it. Why would I lie about it? What am I gaining from it? I mean, I can understand you questioning things about man and coming on here if I was asking for money and telling you to d put money into my PayPal account and all these kind of things like that. 
I'm not asking for anything. You know how many times I, I have asked God, are you sure you still want me to do these videos? You know how many times I have asked the Lord, Lord, please, can this be the last video? And boom, 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 boom. As the videos are uploading, as soon as they're uploading, I have had many people, please don't stop doing these videos. And I'm not an egotistic person. I'm not a prideful person. I'm not taking all this into my swelled up balloon head. I've been attacked on here so many times, it's not even funny. Because I know what Lucifer is. Lucifer wants to stop it. I was on the Randy K. Yeah, I posted the Randy K thing on here because I wanted people to go over there and maybe hear something a little bit different. Randy K is doing a very good thing. Some of the stuff, whether you believe it or don't believe it, it's not up to me to believe what these people are saying. I must know this. If I see something that isn't right, it's my job to correct it. But where's the wrong that I'm doing in this falseness of my opinion? I, I, I'm clueless. You know, because you can go to church and you can listen to pastors all night and day bring stories about things that they've done or things they've seen you know I've, I've heard it seen it all but I find it amazing how when you go and try to do a testimony about your life in churches uh, let me pray on it let me pray on it but yet the same people believed what you told them when they were a youth pastor or when they were doing other ministry work they become a pastor, let me pray on it. That's the longest prayer I've ever heard in my life. In reality, sometimes I just like to go, what are you afraid of? You afraid I'm gonna walk in there and somebody's gonna like what I'm saying and they're going to relate to that more and it's gonna take the spotlight away from you? There is no spotlight, just one spotlight. And if we're all holding it and pushing that thing and all of us come into there and we illuminate and make one big light, then we have solved more than what most people can solve in a lifetime. It's like the body. You can't have a fingernail without the fingertip. You can't have a fingertip without the finger. You can't have a finger without the hand. You can't have a hand without a bone. You can't have a bone without the skin, without the veins. We can't have that without a pumping heart. We can't have the heart without pumping, without having the mind. You can't have the mind without a head. You can't have the head to hold the brain in unless we have a skull. We can't have an eyeball if we don't have a we don't have a skeleton face here to hold the eye into the socket. Yeah, maybe I don't have all the body parts right, but I think you're getting an idea. You know, I've I've taken a lot of stuff over the years, and I've listened to people, and I've had I've had people call me selfish, prideful. Uh, you know. Get, bring the word into that. Pick up the book and read it. Google it then. If you can't find it, Google it. How about before you even Google it, how about if you go into prayer, Lord, where is this spot that Nelson's talking about? I'd like to go read it. You think Jesus is going to answer you? You really think he's not going to say, hey, go to, go to Jeremiah, go to Luke. Go to whatever. Because when I do pick out Bible scriptures, because he tells me to do it. There again, there is my false opinion. When I sit there and say that I've seen hurricanes coming. When I sat there and said I've seen food shortages coming. When I sat there and said the government, what the government's trying to do. But I also know that, you know, if you go too far with things and I over push that line, I've already been shut down once on. And I'd rather guard my tongue to get the message out about Jesus Christ and the coming and what's coming and the repentance and what we need to do to be on that narrow pathway. And really, to be honest, I don't know if you're a man or a female. And really, to be honest, it doesn't matter. I don't care if you're an AI robot. 
this is the last I'm having this conversation about this. Because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of having to come on here and talk about this stuff when clearly... If you truly are watching the videos, then you would hear me already talk about this stuff. You would hear me talk about this stuff when I had a person tell me they, they wish they was with in front of me so they can have their dog chew my face off. I do have feelings. I had a person say on the Randy K thing and when I, when I did the hell video. Oh, you got, it was fake, you were scripted, you were this. It's not a script, it's here. You want to come and sit? Why don't you go find that guy? Why don't you come sit right in front of me? And you can look at me, stare right in there. Because I've said it before, I don't know where to look at on this stupid screen thing here. Because i got cameras all over this thing. Not that I owe you an explanation, because I don't owe anybody an explanation. I mean, honestly, I don't. But when you post stuff like that, this is where I have the problem with it. Because I'm so sick and tired of people saying I'm fake. I'm so sick and tired of listening to And, and I know what people are going to say, Nelson, don't worry about it. No, 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 hear me out. My own children came against me on false, on very false things. It was so hurtful, the things that I heard them say and the things that people screenshotted and sent me. It, it was beyond. And I suppose you're going to have some comment about that too. Well, you better roll the dice and you better get into my relationships of my life before you even comment on something you have no idea what I'm even talking about. You see, the devil is pulling everything away. The devil said simply, I will hit you in every area for I have invested in you and you walked away well it's kind of like joining a gang the devil doesn't like what I say I don't care nor do I care what man thinks of me see when you've been dead physically dead how do I know I was dead because I when I came back through I had messed my pants. I had urine all down my pants. Underneath my eyes and stuff. You have no idea. It took a long time for me to be able to literally drink something without it burning or eat something. It would hurt so bad but where, the, where that rope was. That's my opinion though, right? I'm tired. And be on tired. You don't win today. You don't win. You see, they call me not you in general. They call me greedy. They call me selfish. I bought a pair of boots the other day off an auction and I felt like crap for days after. Because I don't feel like I'm worthy of anything. I don't feel like my dreams are important. You want to know the truth? Here's the truth. You want to know a side of me that I don't tell people? Because I care about somebody else's feelings. And I care about making someone else happy. And I care about somebody else's dreams. And I care about if, if, if they're worried about financial things. Or, or if, if things aren't going right. I've always been the fix-it person, I guess. Because I have love for other people and not for myself. I put myself last. And no, I don't want no damn pity. I don't want nothing from it. That's the truth. I don't need anything of this world. And I sure don't need man's opinion. And I sure don't need a statue. Because that statue can't heal me. That statue cannot get me to heaven. Mary cannot get me to heaven. I can get myself there by following Jesus Christ and surrendering my life to him and repenting him and coming to him with a repenting heart to come to receive him and to come and ask him into my life and to come to live a different life. And as I've said on many videos, go and do not sin again, he said, just because I don't say it on every video, I know what it says. 
Now, you may just be nice and saying, well, Nelson, I'm just putting it on there so people can know what he says. I don't see it that way anymore because I, I spent my lunch today going through every video that I could find your name. And I started reading the comments. It's a lot of finger pointing, a lot of judgmental. Be careful. The Bible says, and if you'd like, I'll Google it real quick to, to find it. Otherwise, I, I can find it. I know it, approximately what books they're in. Be careful. Do not judge for the way that you judge. You, I shall judge you, God says. See, right there, if the right person's listening, they're going to say, well, I'd like to know where that is in the scripture. Let me go find this. And in the meantime, when they're looking this up or they're reading something else, God's speaking to them through the word, the living word, because Jesus Christ is the living word. Jesus Christ, all things was formed through the living word, was in the living word, and is through him. My opinion. I guess that's false too. I had people accuse me of too many things in my life. And I'll tell you one thing that everybody got wrong. I'll tell you one thing everybody got wrong. I was a scared child. Scared. Terrified of everything. I felt alone all my life. I felt like nobody supported me. I felt like I had nothing in my corner. I didn't care if I lived. I fought to eat. I heard voices tell me to go to different places and I'd find food. And I did. You know what it's like to eat a sandwich? Someone's bit off of... You know what it's like to dig through garbage bags to find food? You know what it's like to scrape maggots off of stuff? You know what it's like to eat something and then you're sick seconds to an hour later, doubled over? I do. Do you know what it's like to have people come against you? cast stones at you. Do you know what it's like to walk hand in hand with Lucifer himself? To be in that demonic realm? That's the only peace you had? Because God's people turned their doors and shut them in your face? Do you know what it's like to have a sister tell you you, couldn't, you can't stay there but her husband's brother and family and everybody else was welcome. And I was good enough to watch her kids so they can go out on the weekends. You know what it's like to have another sister that passed away from an overdose that would take money from you, steal from you, and do everything under the sun, but yet I pay rent and then she made me sleep on a porch? No blanket, no pillows. Do you know what it's like to turn around and get them jobs? My niece, my sister, my brother-in-law, and then they all get you fired. Not once, not twice, but three times. Do you know what it's like to have people steal from you? You gotta listen to everybody's comments. But I ask God to forgive them. And I took every blow. And I got to hear every single thing that people say about it. I don't care about dreams anymore. I'm too dang old to care about people's opinions of how they see me. I don't have really much tears left. 
I pray for my children. I pray that the ones that truly say they're following God, that God awakens them so they don't end up in that lake of fire. I pray for people like you that come on here and spread such garbage. And it's garbage. And really, you don't know me, but I'm asking you from my heart. And I'm asking you, please, don't comment on the videos. I'm asking you that. And if you're truly a person of God, you will respect my wishes. And I've never asked anybody this, ever. I feel a bad presence when I read your words. A bad presence. It's almost like I know you, but you're using a different name. I get a bad vibe. Really bad. My false opinion again, right? See, when you've been dead to man, I learned God's fear in that death. When you had your biological father pick you up and just toss you around like a rag doll and beat you so bad. When you're just praying to Jesus that he just kills you. See, it wasn't the hitting. It wasn't the hitting. It wasn't the beatings I took. It wasn't being tossed through the wall that bothered me. Looking him in the eyes is what bothered me. Because I remembered that. I remembered as a six year, being in the sixth grade, he's the first person that I learned to fight. But yet I was the only one there take care of my dad in his final days. I forgave him. As I asked him to forgive me for all the words that I said that day before he passed away. And I'm glad I went back and asked him for forgiveness. So I didn't have to live with that. I had no rights to say what I said to him, no matter what he's done to me. falseness so be it do you know what it's like do you know what it's like when somebody falsely accuses you so bad and people have said so much rotten stuff and you don't even want to be in a room by yourself with a woman you don't want to be in a room with any kind of female without having another person present because of the filth that I was accused of See, I watched things happen from a child. I watched things happen to my oldest sister. I seen some wicked things. It's enough to make you throw up to even hear such things. But yet the truth, the truth the devil will never put the truth in place because they're cowards like the devil, a coward. They speak all they want and then they run away. You speak all you want, and I'm asking you to run away. And I'm asking you, as you said, brother. Well, I don't know if you're a brother or a sister. I'm asking you, please do the same. You know nothing of what you speak. And I rebuke your words. I rebuke your words out of my life. See, the difference is I'm able to stand alone. The difference is I'm able to stand in Jesus' light. The difference is I'm, I'm able to do it alone and I don't need nothing of this world. I wouldn't be sitting in a hotel doing an orientation again if I had things different my way. 
because I trust God. I trust that he's going to provide the finance. I trust he's going to do everything. When the, when the time seems like it's impossible, he does the possible. Boom, doors open. Because your people, here's the message at the end of this. Stop being so deceived. Stop claiming to be Christians when you put God in a box and you think God is incapable of doing something because you've got to see a certain amount. You think God is incapable of paying your bills, paying what you need to be done, or to replace something that needs to be replaced. And look how the change of events starts to change. I want you to take a split moment, whoever's hearing this, and I want you to think about what has changed in your life. Maybe God gave you a pay raise. Maybe God gave you a new job. Maybe God's getting ready to move you into a new job that you didn't think was going to happen. And then all of a sudden, maybe your husband's job decreased or increased or your wife's job increased or decreased. You, you see what I'm saying? You have no idea what God's going to do. The devil wants separation. The devil wants time apart. And the devil's winning, hands down. That's okay. It doesn't matter to me where I'm at anymore. And no, I'm not depressed. I'm just tired. I'm tired of being on this earth. I'm tired of listening to all this nonsense. It's unbelievable. If you like the prayers, it's Jesus speaking it to me. I'm not capable of praying like that. Maybe it's the Antichrist. Maybe it's the devil. I never heard a devil pray such good prayers. Prosper someone, to bring release from pain and torture. I don't know. I really don't know anymore. All I know is. I'm going to continue to work on the videos that he's given me to do. And I guess I'm going to use my opinion. Even though they're false. Because there's somebody going to come across this and it's going to hit them in the heart. And they're truly going to find Jesus Christ. Even if I bring one. If I can at least bring one back to Christ or to find Christ for the first time then hopefully my purpose is done and I can get out of here I can get away from such hatred such disgust what have I done to anybody I have put up with so much all my life tell you another secret. You have no idea how many times I prayed God took me from this earth. Instead, suicide after suicide after suicide. There was even times where I thought I was invincible. Being the fact that I crashed many cars. Being the fact that I had strength beyond strength. Oh, it does make me a fool to challenge God like that. And I think about today all the people that can't walk, all the people that can't see, all the people that don't have, they're born without fingers, or they're born without legs, or they're born with some kind of defect. I think about how selfish I was. Again, my opinion. Take this video however you want. And I mean this in a loving, caring way. I really don't I'm tired of people's opinions of what they think and then sit there and bold face lie to your face I don't 
need that nonsense in my life. Let me know if you'd like any other information because I'll give it to you. You really truly want to dig deep into my life and my false opinions. You better know what you're asking for. Because I'm telling you right now, I have things that I have never shared with anybody. You want to walk back into the gates and pits of hell with me? Come on, let's take the walk. And really, to be honest, and I don't mean this disrespectful to anybody. If anybody takes this however you want, take it however you want. You can come on here and you can say whatever you want. And I'm not being disrespectful. I mean this in a God-caring, loving way. I'm never going to apologize if it offends you. Because I always said, just like I would say to my kids, something in there is truthful. And I know you may say, well, simply... All I said is some words and you're doing this. No, it's the non-stopness. It's time to stop. See, I'm not afraid to walk into the gates of hell. And I'm not afraid to look Lucifer in his eyes and say, not today. You just picked the wrong day to do it. So you can continue to write your essay of comments. Because I'm not reading them no more. Just like another person came on here and said, Nelson, I really don't see any hatred in there. Oh, I can show you what videos are on. And I said, the majority of them, I have deleted. And another person asked me too, Philippians. He asked me. I told him what videos and he wouldn't seen it. He also commented, but he did it in a godly caring way. See, he's got a better way to put it. I got one filter and that's it. And I'm not apologizing. You know why? Because I ask every day for Jesus to mold and sculpt me, to change me, make me the man that he wants me to be. Well, this is what you're looking at. You don't like it? Take it up with Jesus, like I tell everybody else. I can't help it what my facial expressions look like. I can't help it by the tone that things come out of me. And it's not an excuse. It's the truth. And I'm going to tell you as you told me, you go pray to Jesus get the truth then and when you get that truth you come on back you come on back and leave a comment on that and tell me what he told you may God be with you all may God bring peace and joy happiness until the next one God bless you. Keep you safe.